Hello and welcome. I'm Harry at Launch MBA, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the lag stack. So let me make myself a little bit bigger down here. Whoa! Oh, 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 whoa! Oh, just a little gag. Okay. Today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial, but with this one, it's going to be um, I'm going to be learning as I go as well. Lag stack. And now that is a new term uh, to me as of the last few weeks, um, but you can see it here at lagstack.com. And all it essentially means is a landing page plus Airtable plus Gumroad. So it's a way to sell a digital product. So that is uh, something like an ebook or a PDF or a database or a Notion dashboard um, like Newsletter OS that Janelle from the Launch MBA community created uh, recently. They're digital products and it's a way for you to advertise them and then sell them um, kind of quickly and simply using no code tools. Uh, lag stack, I think, is a term that was coined uh, by this guy here, Jacob Greenfeld, uh, who created this website. And uh, but yeah, he just kind of coined the term and made this site, which kind of helps explain what it is. Um, but essentially, it, yeah, it is uh, today we're going to be using card. We're going to be using Airtable and we're going to be using Gumroad, those three things to sell a product. Now, as we go today, I am doing this for the first time. So it's got to be a tutorial uh, in a kind of beginner lag stack sense because I've never done this before. So uh, everything we go through is going to be the first time for me doing it. So we're just going to see what happens. I'm going to, you know, I've got a digital product already. Um, that I created a few months ago, and that is over here. And it is, uh, I called it Harry's Ultimate No Code Tutorial Database. And I created it for the Launch MBA community, um, but I put quite a lot of hours into it. And essentially, it's a database you can see here. It's got uh, almost um, 50 tools, uh, 46, I think, to be exact. And it's got about 1,200 tutorials on there um, listed by the name what tool they are in the category the level beginners advanced or intermediate as well and you can see other things such as the link html description thumbnail of the video etc so it's quite an extensive database this one's complete where it's got all of them here and these are them in separate categories so it's got value and I'm going to see if I can sell it and make some money um, from it. Uh, so I need to think about pricing and all of that, but we'll go through that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start by making a landing page on card. So let's see how we go. Over on card, here we are. Uh, let's um, go. Let's choose a starting point. I want a quite simple one. I might start with a template and adapt, um, which I know that uh, quite a lot of people do. I find it pretty helpful um, because it's essentially like starting from scratch, but well, right, you're not starting from scratch. So you've got a tiny bit to just get you started, kickstart you, and you can move things around and get working on it. Okay, let's go for this. We're going to select this. It's a really basic, kind of just in sections here, but we're going to edit it. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to use quite a lot of that. So, OK. Let's just create our card page first. So I'm going to call it No Code Toots or No Code Tutorials. Hello. So yeah, I just skipped some of that process, but you can see here what I've done. Um, I've decided to go with the orange and white, uh, despite the EasyJet feel. Um, I've gone with Harry's Ultimate No Code Tutorials Database because that is the name of it for me. Um, and I've put by no code Harry here. I've basically researched other digital products pages, landing pages, and had a look what what the kind of uh, standard is it's essentially yeah they're quite simple they usually link back to a twitter and then i've just got the bullet points about what it is here uh 1100 plus no code tutorials 46 tools categorized and labels everything you need to learn how to become a no code pro uh so that's it then i put these 
two buttons to get it now and learn more. Get it now will take us to the Gumroad page where we can go go ahead straight away and purchase it and uh, learn more. Um, I'm going to click that, you see. I've made the button there. Seven hours later. Okay, so I'm just, uh, I've done some general editing here on the landing page. That's kind of like, you know, with the copy and the, you know, the padding and that kind of thing, the color scheme. You can see what I've done here. So I've gone with quite simple, big title. We've got a link to my social. The main bullet points here about the tool and what's good about it. Uh, Get it now button, which, um, I will link up to the Gumroad, which I haven't done yet. We'll go on to that in a bit. Uh, close that. Uh, the Learn More button that um, if you click, so I'll show you what it looks like over here, takes you down. So this will come straight to this. You'll be like, oh, what's this? What's this? You click here, Learn More. It takes you down. What will I get? Uh, I've basically kind of tried to put a small pithy bit of text for what you're going to get. Um, I've thought it would look good to put all the tools that are there. Um, so I've tried to work on the copy a bit. Yeah, I've put a screenshot here of um, a small example of the database. A lot of people do this um, when they're selling digital products. Uh, some people also do a, a, a small link where you can go to a straight preview of the database on Airtable or a preview of their ebook um the pdf preview or other things i'm not going to do that for now but i've got a screenshot for what it looks like here and i've explained the amount of tools what the tools are etc uh again kind of tick format bullet point format of what they're going to get from it only five dollars you can download it the base copy over the base or download the csv filter it by tool or difficulty just selling the points basically and then a little bit about who are you um, just so people know who they would be buying a product off of. Um, very short um, introduction about uh, the product, the database, where I'm from, my Twitter. Uh, and they can click through to my Twitter there on those links. And then again, the Get It Now button, the second call to action down here, which will take us to the Gumroad. So that's generally the card page done. Uh, oh, and down here, the socials. So I've got the usual stuff and then the socials, which is Twitter, um, email and product hunt. Uh, which I actually need to create an account on there as well and link to that, which is actually where we may very well via Gumroad, uh, sorry, on Gumroad via Product Hunt be selling our product. So we'll come on to that later. Okay, let's get started with Gumroad. So I've just jumped over here. Uh, creators deserve to get paid for their work. Too right, they do. Start selling. Let's just click through and see what the process is like. Okay, I'm just going to zoom probably past this initial boring bit okay let's go um, publish your first product <clears throat> okay yeah so you've got three different types of products here classic pre-order and membership um, if I was considering um, which I might do in the future um, updating my database and keeping it as an ongoing thing for the use of communities etc I might consider a membership um, you know a certain amount a month that the community could use it and I'd but I'd have to obviously keep updating it. Um, something down the line maybe, but my plan initially was just to sell as is, um, as it comes. So I'm going to go with classic. Uh, you can pre-order, of course, as well. So classic is selected. Okay, let's just... I've scrolled down here and it said, add details. Um, and I've clicked on that, but it says attribute and value. So I don't think... For this product, I need to do that, so I'm not going to try and keep it as simple as possible. Uh, content, yes, okay. So, don't need to upload files, yes. I think I need to redirect to a URL because it's an Airtable base that I'm selling, but this could be different for your product depending on what it is. Could be a PDF, for example, that you could upload. So, for that, I'm going to go over here to my Airtable, and I don't want to share. These, I don't think, because this is just a view or one grid or one table. I want to show the whole base. So I'm going to click this, go back to uh, the home page. I'm also going to first things first, click drop down here on the base and duplicate it just to be safe, um, which I've done just over here. That is because 
just in case I mess this up first time around with sharing permissions and someone edits it in the wrong way. Um, okay, so once you've duplicated, if you want to do that, go to share. Okay, so looking through this, I've gone with invite by link. I've clicked that. I've gone to change this to read only because I don't want them to have creator, editor or commenter um, permissions because then they can edit the base. But read only. However, I'll, I'll show you in a second what happens with that. Click allow any email address. Uh, go down here and underneath this thing, you need to um, toggle this, which is allow viewers to copy the data in this base um, because obviously they want to be able to copy it over to their own Airtable account. Okay, so I think that's it. Then I'm going to um, copy this as the URL. And I'm going to go over, redirect to a URL. Why is it taking me back up? I don't know. Paste. Um, put the URL in there, tested it, got a nice tick, uh, whatever that means, assuming that's good news. Uh, yes, five pounds. I don't want to change any of these settings, but you can, of course, if you like. No variations of my product, etc. Okay, save changes. Then click over to check out. Okay, what's this? Is this what it will look like? Ah, preview. Okay, well, this is ugly, so we're going to change this. Okay, so to change that, what I had to do was jump over, uh, weirdly, not on the product page, but back to the profile page uh, over here and click on style and change my profile style again, which I had. I randomly selected Goblet of Fire because it sounded cool, um, but it changed the th this theme on here actually goes through to the products as well. So for now, let's go with Gumroad default, save that, uh, hop on over to check out check the preview out and there you can see that looks much better okay so let's jump back over to check out discount codes i'm not going to do that payment form full name field will be shown when it will increase conversion okay let's leave that require shipping information not required for this product it's not physical um additional fields thank you note yes okay i'll add my thank you note okay so that should all be done there save changes again click share not yet you've got to publish your awesome product before you can share it okay let's click publish i think published share your product great so we're nearly there um this is giving you options to do it through gumroad so for example an overlay or an embed on your own site so you can see that inline purchases you can create the html to put on your site um or the embed but we've, we've already got a card site set up so what we're going to do is just copy the url because card has a built-in gumroad widget so let's yes again copy url click that we're going to jump over to card again and we are going that's where we're going to edit this uh, button this get it now button so first i'm going to go i'm going to click on that i'm going to go to add widgets just underneath here and i'm going to find gumroad product url i'm going to paste my product in there i think get it now is we'll still go with it Uh, auto trigger payment form. Well, let me get myself out of the way there. Whoa, whoa, it's a little gag. Uh, yes, auto trigger payment form. Uh, that I'd leave that unticked. Uh, well, again, this will vary according to your product. Um, but I'm not sure that's ideal for most because it literally brings up um, the payment screen straight away and bypasses the description pop up. Um, so I'm pretty sure you'd always want your description. So leave that unticked. But this, uh, if you're selling a one-off digital product like an ebook or a database like I am, leave this ticked. If you're if you've got a single product, because otherwise, um, if you leave it unticked, it will 
um, add a basket in the corner uh, where you can add multiple products. Um, so you can keep adding things to the basket. You could do that if you wanted to, if your product had multiple variants, um, by all means. But I'm going to leave that uh, ticked for single product because it is just one purchase they'd need to make. Uh, of course, they could purchase it several times if they wanted to gift it to somebody or something like that. OK, click done. And we're basically there. OK, so I've just updated and published uh, my card site again. I've put the call to action buttons, get it now here. Then here again, after I've said what they'll get, and then one more. Um, so kind of three call to actions there. I don't need to put one after who am I, because that's just for their information. So I think that's looking good. So let's check it out. So let's check it out. Here we are, Harry's Ultimate No-Code Tutorials Database. So people would click on this, scroll down, get it now. I want this. Fill in the details here. They'd click pay, and then it will go through. It will send them the Airtable link, and that is sorted. That is a nice, quick, easy way to sell your digital products online. Quick uh, bonus. So I've just hopped over to Product Hunt here. You can see uh, I've literally just logged on. Uh, in the top right and click post and this is my first thing first time doing it uh, and you can see it's just got a form here quite similar to the one that we did on Gumroad uh, and I'm just filling this out name of product tagline adding some topics uh, yeah the link download link uh, etc okay so we've got these details this product is available next let's make this product look nice Okay. Okay. So I've just quickly filled in those details. Basically, use some of the copy from before, um, but I've added in some a couple of extra bits that I think might appeal to the product hunt community. Let's go next. So that's all basically done for you. But I've just added in uh, this, which is the first comment to get the conversation going. Let's do it. Let's finish this launch. <laughs> 